gentlemen, so this is the major favourites tag. Um, I saw it on Strength Strength of Tarot. So I might, I'll just say that she tagged me, but she didn't really. I just followed it. So there are going to be some repeats. There's a few because I'm working with a deck and I'm loving it right now. So I'm working with some decks and some decks are like just constant call. Like I keep coming back to them. So there's a bit of repeats in here because I keep using this one deck. And it's the um, Terror of Enchanted Dreams by Yasmin Westwood. I keep coming back to it. I don't know why. It's just it's just one of those decks. So we're going to start with The Fool. And this is from uh, The Wizard's Tarot by Barbara Moore. It's only been recently out. I love this Fool because they're, it's the only one I've seen that's hesitant. So it's like, I'm not sure, should I jump? And I love how it's like a girl as well. So like, not all the time it's a girl, but... Like, that's not really a major thing for me, but I just love how she's sitting there going, oh, looking down where she's going, going, oh, do I jump? I'm not sure. And I like how she's contemplating leaping rather than how the fool normally just walks off the cliff, and I love that. Next is the Magician, and this is from Crystal Visions Tarot. Out of all the magicians I was looking at, this that, that was really hard to pick is because... I like this one because not only is it like an angel being thing, it's like a higher self kind of perspective. Like you have the skills, you are your higher self. Now he does have all the suits on him, but I just like how it's like a higher self rather than you physically doing things on the table, like the way they do have their table in front of them and stuff. And I like this one for that reason. Like it's just like a higher self, like going, this is your higher self telling you, you got the skills got this next is the high priestess and this is from the arcanum tar tarot this is one of the first high priestess cards i love i love it so much oh i love it too much i love it so much because she's like she's at peace and like there's other ones i've seen where she looks like she's like a bit too much of a know-it-all when she is like she knows everything like she's supposed to be the universe and all that but i don't know why she looks like she's content and she's meditating on what she's learned and just the blues and purples kind of thing are working really well here. And I just love it. Like, this is one of my favourite High Priestess cards. Arcanum Tarot. This is one of my very favourite Empress cards. Now, it's from the Tarot Luminati. Now, I don't have the gilded one. It's just the ordinary one. I've edged this in black. I love this Empress because it's Elizabethan era. I feel like she's a very, like, Queen Elizabeth. But if you look closer at her face, she looks like Natalie Portman. Oh, I thought that was hilarious. And I love the reds and... Like her, the heart harp is still there. Her scepter, the the um, the stars are in her head, and the only thing I don't seem to see is the pomegranates. But like that doesn't really bother me too much. It's just oh, she's just so regal, and I love it. Cause like sometimes they're a bit like the empress is supposed to be like the soft um kind of the queen. I will say out of the out of the decks and like. Unlike the court queens, like the, which is the, I know this is an empress, but you know what I mean? Out of the queens of the courts cards, like she's, she's usually a really soft, nurturing one. So it's nice to see her being like, yeah, I've got a job to do, but I'll still take care of you. So I like how she's a bit more, I don't know, regal and um, standoffish in a way. Like I know she's supposed to be soft and gentle, as I said, but I don't know. I just love this like Queen Elizabeth look to her. Next is the Empress, and this is from Tarot de la Nuit, or Tarot of the Night, um, by Le Scarabeo. And I love this Emperor. Oh my god. Like, not the fact that he's, like, just... He's not sitting idle. Like, he's he's ready for battle. Like, he has his sword, he has his shield, he has his somewhat armour on. <laughs> but he looks like a Viking, ready to fight kind of thing, you know? Which is nice to see. Like, this is the first one of the first Emperors I've seen where he's out of his chair. And out of all the decks I have, this is probably the one, only one I have that where he's uh, out of his chair. And he's just um, ready to go, I'm going to fight with my people, for my people kind of thing. Rather than sitting there going, sending armies out, he's there ready to fight. So I like this. He's like ready to protect the, the person in the reading and stuff. And I like that. That's Tarot of the Night, Tarot de la Wii. Now... The Hierophant was not like was such an easy thing to pick for me because I love this one, which is the guide, and it's the Tarot of Enchanted Dreams by Yasmin Westwood. So you're gonna see a few of these cards like from the deck, uh, because I 
love that deck so much and I can't get enough of it. And the reason why I picked this is because there's no... Most of the horror fonts I was looking through were very Catholic or Christian or very, you know, Pope-like. I don't mind it, like, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just nice to see something, like, a bit more universal. So this is, like, the guide. So that could be anyone in any religion, like, whatever guide or spirit guide or religious guide you find suits you, this one's very perfect for that. And that's why I like it. It's because, like, it's like you're finding... I love how there's two faces here as well. Like, this is the face of the person and this is the inner child. And you're trying to find, like, get guidance from your inner child or from inside yourself rather than externally. And I love this card. Like, I just... This deck is just insane. Like, it's huge. <laughs> it's just... It's a bit bigger than uh, the good tarot. But I love this card so much because of the just the universal trait to it like it's just called the guide that's it like no hierophant no pope no like you know like those kind of things like there's no there's nothing related to like a religious sense to it which i love and i love that that's just called the guide i got really invested in that next up is the lovers and this is from the arcane and tarot again i found this one quite hard to pick it was between this and Terrell de Louis one because Terrell de Louis is um I think it's Persephone and Loki or Persephone and Hades and it's really interesting because I realized Persephone is his daughter and I'm like what's happening oh it is a bit in like I asked the artist on Instagram like what's this like what is this and I re didn't realize it was Persephone and Hades so I went oh Jesus so I have picked this one because it's like they're two energies rather than two physical like Adam and Eve kind of things uh, kind of thing uh, but the snake is there and the apples there and like this little small tree sprouting rather than it's a tree it's a tree that's starting to grow and later on if in this deck if you ever do have this deck the two of cups is the same couple but older and I love that so it's like they're still looking at each other and they're just like grown older together so this is the Arcanum Tarot and I, I recommend that to anyone for a beginner or anything. But I love how it's like this arrow, like Cupid's arrow's coming down and it's like they're being struck by the angel's arrow in a way. Like, I don't know. It's just such a nice lover's card. Like they're looking at each other lustfully and passionately and there's nothing distracting them like doom and gloom saying the angel's going to make the choices and stuff like that because I was looking at the Golden Art Nouveau lovers that's very chaotic and it's like the because they ate the apple they're very like no you can't be together you're not allowed now the chariot was such an easy thing to pick it's the everyday witch tarot chariot because it's the first one I've seen where there was a motorbike and I love it now this is a f I love this one because she's like huh which way do I go I don't know but I love this like bright red like motorbike in it and there's another one which is the um modern day witch tarot that has a motorbike in it but it is still very um rider weight which is, i like this one which is not rider weight so it's just a typical motorbike journey she's like huh oh, which way do i go and she's probably more confused about what there's no labels on it and she doesn't know which way to go i just like that very much and that's the everyday witch now the strength card was kind of a I was a toss up between the Arcane and Tarot one and the and this one which is the Grand Deluxe by T uh, Kira Marchetti. Um I picked this one because it's like she's a it's like the how to put it like in most right away she's t fighting the line like pulling its jaw and stuff excuse my nails I need to get them done again. Um and she's like pulling the line's jaw shut or pushing it fighting against it. In the Arcane one she's kind of like resting with it and just relaxed and then with the good tarot she's like asleep with it but this is the first one i've seen where she looks like she's riding the back of the lion so it looks like she's riding the back of the lion and i thought it was nice it's like the journey has come to where the lion trusts her enough to go yeah i'll help you now and i just thought that was really nice a really nice touch to this art piece of the card and i actually really like it that's the Grand Deluxe one. I'm showing the back so in case like people see that like can't figure out which one this is, they'll know what the back looks like. Now, the Hermit was a flip flop, as I said, between another one, um, <laughs> between the Modern Witch one 
and the Terror Little Wheat one. But I like the Terror Little Wheat one much more. Like the, the Hermit in the Modern Day Witch is very modern. It's like she's turning off the laptop, but this one, I just love the red, like out, like the red light and the red colors. And how like she's using the red light to find her way in the darkness and how some bits are like this, like she's walking on this like, like fog. And she's coming into the ashes or coming into like the forbidden land or the wasteland and i love it like that it's a female as well oh like this is what i only have this one and i think the modern day witch is a female hermit but i love this hermit so much because of the colors and just the expression on her face she looks so like for some reason it looks like she was crying i don't know why i always find her face like a little bit like shiny so it looks like she was crying it's like it was a hard thing to do this bit alone and she's doing it so I just thought that was nice plus this like witchcraft kind of stuff going on here and I like it like with the crow and everything and like oh it's phenomenal I love that one's Terra de la Wii. next up is the wheel or the wheel of fortune or in this case the wheel of destiny I picked this one right there was a few I was thinking of but this one kept coming to mind because of the girl's face in the background. So it's like she's one of the fates, like, you know, the the Greek fates. And she's turning the wheel for you and she's like, what's your, what's your, what's going to be your prize? Like, it looks like a, a game show. There is one that's a game show. I think it's the Everyday Witch and it looks like a game show kind of one. And I thought that was cool as well. But I went with this one because of all the star signs are on it. There's a clock, there's t hourglasses. I don't know and she has like this thing on her third eye so she knows what your destiny is going to be so rather than like a fortune so like something good is going to be physically in your life this is like finding out what your destiny is more and i just love that and that's also from uh terror of enchanted dreams tarot and the now see i keep bringing this one up because the artwork is just phenomenal and i, it, I could not think of any other justice card except for this one because She's standing, right? She has her scales. There's like a gust of wind here blowing her hair and stuff, but she has her sword up and ready to fight rather than be fair and stuff. So she looks like she's ready to be a warrior in a way. I don't know what it was about this. Like she doesn't look like the typical justice who's sitting there going, yeah, I'll be fair and has a blindfold on and stuff. She's literally ready to fight i don't know why she's like ready to fight for justice rather than sit idle for justice i think it's just that her body language is a bit more open and i really do like it so um yeah this took a long time to pick these cards so i kept coming back on no i don't care next up is the hangman but it's called perspective so again terror of enchanted dreams this is there's like two more cards from that deck I love this deck because the way Yasmin has done this is like it's called perspective because I will say now when I was starting tarot hanged man I always got that confused because I went oh my god does that mean death as like a secret meaning of death because hanged man is there no it just means you need a new perspective and this is literally just called perspective but I like how it's like a girl who's doing like Cirque du Soleil stuff on the edge here on the pendulum of the clock and she's just waiting for the perspective to come. There's an eagle here to give her some more insight and she's enclosed in like this archway of ivy and I just love how it's like she's just like I'm in my secret garden let me just find my perspective like she's in her own mind good let me find this perspective on my own before I make a choice and I just love how she is hanging off that like pendulum I just it's called perspective like that's what it means not like beating around the bush calling it hanged man so yeah uh the death card now I immediately thought of this one in my head and it's by Tara Little Wee again um this was actually hard I went through like all my decks and I was like I keep coming back to these two decks it's weird but like I like this one because of the Day of the Dead like look to it. So unlike the Santa Muerta deck, which I used to have, um, there wasn't much Day of the Dead face paint in it. Whereas this one is just, I love it. It's like so, I wish I put mystical and like traditional and it's what they do in Mexico, like obviously to, for their Halloween in a way, their Day of the Dead. Um, they, just all this floral stuff and like how like there's 
it was actually between this and the Crystal Visions one because the Crystal Visions one has a girl lying on a big rock and the rock has a Latin phrase on it and my friend wrote on top what it meant and it went death is not the end death is just the change and I went or something like that I'll check it in a but um the phrase on it was just perfect and I would have picked that one but I went no this one is just I don't know it was just it keeps coming to mind every time I think of the death card I think of this one because of the colors and the traditions behind it of the day of the dead like there's skulls in the hair her hair um there's another skull hair there's just there's so much life in her hair and she's a death card that's what I thought was mad like like most of them are like she's on the the death is on the horse walking through the village picking off who he wants to who's got whose time it is whereas this one is like I'm death how are you doing um yeah and she's like bringing taking life but there's life in her hair I thought that was just really interesting Terrible, temperance um this is quite tough I will say temperance was quite tough to pick because of all the traditional Rider Waite Smith stuff um I picked this one because she's kind of like half of, a, of like a ghost down here and then she's leaping out into the air with this well-balanced like you know rainbow kind of effect of auras and she has her wings of course but she's just embracing it so it's very fool like for a temperance card this is from grand deluxe and i don't know grand grand Lux, not grand deluxe <laughs> but um yeah no kira marchetti i don't know what you did to this one but it's just beautiful and i thought it was just such a nice like again balance like one's blue one's red and they come together and she just makes this leap of faith to say yeah i've got my balance like i'm i'm so well in balance and in tune with everything i thought that was nice next up is the devil and this is from the the crystal visions tarot i love this one because the devil is like this kind of fawn uh guy here he's playing the tune to make eve go and get the apple now as i was saying like i don't mind the Adam and Eve kind of situation for the lovers like I don't mind it but it's nice to see it for the devil and I don't know why it looks like Eve is the devil in this card which is kind of cool to be honest like she went oh I'm gonna get the apple and she's no here Adam take it so she's like manipulating them to take it so they can leave Eden I don't know I just thought it was really cool like it's a really interesting take on the devil it was between this and the Tarot of the, the Wee Wood because the Tarot of the Wee Wood's like a succubus I thought it was really cool because succubus are supposed to lure you in and stuff. But I went with this one because I love the colour scheme of it. I love how it's actually this guy telling Eve what to do and making Eve manipulative towards Adam. So it's like a ripple effect. And I like it. I don't know why. I just thought it was a nice like situation there. There's no snake now, but I feel like it's very Adam and Eve and Eve is just being being, being very manipulative. Again, another one from uh, the Tarot of Enchanted Dreams. It was between this and the Wizard's Tarot uh, one, the new one from by Barbara Moore. Because the Barbara Moore one, you can actually, it's like an experiment gone wrong and the witch is falling. But this one is such an amazing take on the tower. Like, it's a woman. You can see the woman here and then her hand there and there. there's her dress. And there's chains stuck to her waist. There's a storm, her crown has fallen off, all the bits. Dragonflies are also a good sign of change as well. But I love how it's like an internal storm. Like it's an internal conflict. Like it's, it's like her in, like her emotions and things have just collapsed. Like instead of like her world fa falling around her, it's like an internal struggle. And I just thought that was a beautiful take on this card. And I just had to pick this one because it's like a mental mental health kind of struggle. And a tower moment rather than oh here look you're the actual thing has fallen like actual things are crumbling around you so this is more like an internal uh, tower and i love that that's a very pretty card the moon now oh my god the moon was so hard to pick i kept coming back to these certain decks these three decks i kept coming back to them because i use them so much and they're really good um i couldn't find the there's a new tower deck i couldn't find it though um 
But the moon, I was going through the moon in this, in the crystal visions, in the Arcanum, in Tarot de Louis, and in the Tarot Luminati. I went through them all, and I was going to go for ter for a Tarot of the, of the Night, or Tarot de Louis, because the moon in that one looks like she's waiting for something. But in this one, I like how it's like embodied the moon as like a goddess, in a way, and she's chained to the two, two wolves. I don't know what it is with the moon phases and this archway. It's like she's opened the gateway for a path to be picked. And I don't know why. It just looks like she's a moon goddess. Like she's a goddess of the moon. Rather than it's the moon and there's the dog and the crayfish. The other one was the crayfish one from the wizard tower. Because the crayfish in that is just ridiculously huge. It's like a sea monster. And they're like, what the f So yeah, I picked this one because she looks like the moon is embodied as a person. Rather than the face in the in the moon so i thought this was nice she came down and said hey what do you want so that's the uh, crystal visions Cheryl of the Wii again uh this is the sun card i like this one because she's on it it looks like the fool right before they made the decision okay but she's on the cliff and i don't know why she looks like she's waiting for her like like, you know, for a say her lover who's a sailor to come back to her from, say, waiting for that ship to come in. But the way she's standing is that she's putting her chest out. So she's putting her heart out to embrace the new day. And this is interesting because it's a sunrise or is it a sunset? And we don't know because this um, deck is all about nighttime. So it's just really pretty to see like this kind of twilight. Is it dusk? Is it dawn? I don't know. Kind of situation. So she's like, she's embracing the sunlight while she can. And the flower is like wilting here away because it's night time. I don't know. It was just really good. I love this. The, the perspective of this is really pretty. So yeah, I picked that one. Judgment. No, it's a different deck. Hooray. Different deck. This is from the Golden Wheel. The Terror of the Golden Wheel or the Golden Wheel Terror? I don't know. I can't remember. It's the, yeah, it's that one. It's the one with this backing. I keep, I keep getting to the thing. Is it the Golden Wheel Terror or the Terror of the Golden Wheel? So anyway. I love this judgment card. Um, it's one of the very few that don't have like the coffin situation and the angel going, blowing his trumpet going, I pick you and you and you and people are crying and stuff. This one, I don't know why, it looks like um, it's just more more peaceful and gentle. And I love this like ombre of colors in the background here. Like the, oh, I don't know how. This, the people who did this deck, who did this deck? Yeah. I think it was, um, yeah, US Games, is it? Yeah, it's called Terror of the Golden Wheel. There you go. And it's US Games. And the artist, um, whoever did the art, I have to check the artist. Oh, it's Mila Losenko. Mila Losenko. Um, whoever, like, did the artist with this, if it is Mila herself or whatever, like, just this, temp this judgment card. At first, when I saw it, I thought it was temperance because it was like this. And I went, oh, you think it's temperance? It's judgment. And I started going, that makes so much sense. Because judgment is all about karma come, being given and received and all that stuff, right? But in this case, it's like the angel is just like embracing everyone. And just kind of like, oh, you can do... It's I'm not going to be the judge of anything. I'll just like be, and she's just frolicking on the waves here. I don't know what it was. It's just a bit more free than the restricting it to the Rider Waite Smith kind of depiction of it. And I just love it. I just love that card. That's just like one of the best ones, I think. Last but not least, it's another <laughs> Tower of Enchanted Dreams. It was so hard to pick a different deck for each one, but I just kept coming back to one deck. And it was the world card in this one in the enchanted dreams um i like how it's like a doll's face on the woman and she's like breaking it away because it's changing it's like new and the world is a new chapter a new year a new beginning that kind of thing uh. excuse me and like she's not gonna be the same person going into the new chapter so this mask is like falling off in a way i like how the world's just there but it's like she is like mother earth in a way in this kind of sense she's like Gaia or the Mother Earth situation here and the flowers are breaking through her face because the old face is not needed it's the new one underneath so she's breaking free from it and moving on yeah wow that was I've got to say that was quite tough okay because I kept coming back to the decks I'm using at the moment 
my and I kept going back to decks I did use in the past and stuff so I really enjoyed it but I'm really annoyed with myself I kept coming back to this one deck but it's my favorite deck so the whole point is made your favorite so yeah um it was hard to go through like for one of each card for one of each deck um that was a tough one and every time I went through them I came back and then I had little piles of ones I liked and I kept going through going no that can't be it no that one has the other but yeah no that is the major favorites tag so I'll leave that there and you can do I'm tagging everyone do what you want tag all you want but I can I might tag one or two people down below um but yeah I'll leave that there and I'll see you all soon bye